Yes, I know I look like a hot mess, but I needed to get this video done, so don't try and read me. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Weave Corner. I am back again with another weave related video, and this time it is a wig review. Disclaimer, excuse the fact that I look like a hot mess. Just, it's been a long day, I'm tired from work. Just to... Anyway, I am just here and I'm going to be doing a review on this wig right here. So this wig is from an AliExpress hair company called Black Girl Dream Hair Store, which is the name of the hair store. It is an actual wig. This is not, well, I mean, of course it's bundles sewn to attract, but it's not um, like bundles that I sewed myself to, uh, to attract. It is a lace frontal, meaning that there is lace from ear to ear, so that way you have parting versatility. It came in this box, and on the box it says Rolinda, and it that's kind of confusing because the store that's not the name of the store. And inside the box came your wig in this plastic bag. There was also a net, and it also had that little, um, you know, you see the little paper stuff stuffed inside of the wig. It came with earrings. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a choker eyelashes and a and a and it came with a wig cap one of those like net wig caps which is cute I mean I don't personally like those but but it's cute they were being thoughtful they were being thoughtful this wig was purchased for $71.12 and it is a 12 inch wig I did buy this wig myself because you know Nobody know me. So I did purchase this wig with my own money. It is a human hair wig. Let me just start off by saying this hair is so resilient. Now what I mean by that is when I got this, when I got this hair, this is my first experience with um, bleaching knots and all that stuff and trying to color the lace to match my skin tone and uh, you know it wasn't a perfect success I did over bleach some of my roots you can't see because you know right now it's looking like scalp which is a one but you know certain parts of it there's just you know blonde like roots while the rest of it is black and then I tried to fix it by buying black hair dye and trying to color in that part of the roots but then I also ended up getting the black hair dye on the lace and then when I tried to match the lace to my skin tone like um, I ended up making the lace color way too dark and then I tried to lighten it but then that didn't work and then I cut the lace too short and this just was my F up wig I'm gonna just say that it was my F up wig this was my wig on what to do and what not to do and I've basically figured it out with another wig that I will be doing a review on um, but this hair is so resilient like I put dye on this hair because some parts of it are dyed while other parts of it are not when I try to um, dye the rest of the roots black so that you know I wouldn't have those blonde roots in it it did you know dye some of the hair a darker color than the rest of that natural 1b color that it did come in and um, it, you can't notice it right now like I honestly can't notice it right now it's a it's a lot more noticeable to me especially when I'm like styling it or washing it or whatever just because you know I'm really anal about those things but um, you can't really notice it and it looks so good and yeah look at this hair it just after all the stuff that I have done to it it still has life it still has body it still has movement I just, I love this hair so basically getting into the rest of my notes you know does it hold a curl obviously yes it does I put it into this sort of like wave situation here I'll show a picture of what it was like when it was straight I mean you guys have seen it a couple times with it being straight so I'll show you like um, you know just a photo of when it's straight and it takes heat so beautifully like 
you don't feel like you're burning off the hair like this hair is very very resilient like you know I turn up my things to like the highest setting for some reason when do when dealing with human hair and like you know I feel like that's where you'll figure out like is this is this strong hair is this weak crappy hair but it is definitely strong hair like flat ironing it curling it it was it's so good I hadn't noticed any any breakage any um bit damage there we go that's the word I was looking for any damage it's pretty it looks great sheen is amazing body is amazing movement is just it's it's so luscious so obviously yes it does hold a curl uh, the issue with shedding now before I did a lot of stuff to this hair it was not shedding at all I feel like the amount of shedding that I get now which is a a fair amount it could be better but the shedding that it's dealing with now is from my own human error and me messing with it and me playing with it and all that other stuff you know me doing so much to this hair that didn't that didn't need to be done so I feel like the shedding is on me because before I touched this hair it was it was so good like ran my fingers through it and nothing came out the flyaways are just one thing again I don't know if it's me I feel like it probably was me but um the flyaways is crazy you can't see them but like I can see like this hairspray is now starting to it's starting to come undone just a little bit like and the, the, the flyaways just they just everywhere honey so this wig originally did come in a middle part and it the middle part is pre-plucked but of course I had to put it in the side part because y'all know side parts are life and um I'm okay with the parting the only thing is is that I feel like with the parting space that it gave you it only can look so natural if you want to do a side part like if you if you're a middle part person like it goes to like back what is it what is, where is it yeah it goes to like back here if you're trying to do a middle part which obviously it's much farther than the side part but uh because you know there are people out in the world who do like side parts because it's you know that weird sort of like closure type of ordeal but the rest of it is a frontal but you know it's very like very thin parting space so that's what I ran into here it's just smaller parting space so it's not going as far back as I would like it to so the nappiness of this hair is this hair nappy boo boo is you is you just gonna like try and run your fingers through it and end up pulling the wig off no you're not this hair is so Silk is smooth, like even when it's curly, running my fingers through it is no problem. Running a comb through it is no problem. And when it is straight, it, no issues, no issues whatsoever. So obviously I have talked about this um, this body and bounce that it has, and I, I really, really love this. The one thing that I really hate is stiff hair. Like, you know, when you're moving your head, it doesn't like, you know, move like that, like flow. It like moves with you as a unit. That's not cute. Girls, if you walk around like that, that's not cute. But this, you have no issue with this. It is so bouncy and just lively and it moves with you and when it is straight even when I noticed it was time for me to wash it because you will notice that like after a week and a half or a week that the hair starts to get bogged down by product and you know your natural oils and whatnot even when that that was going on it still like had incredible movement and it wasn't like a sticky it wasn't sticky or stuck and I really appreciated that now the only thing with um, this hair if you want to curl it make sure that you curl it in the earlier stages of like you know washing it and all that stuff because as the hair gets on goes on I can't words are hard as the hair you know moves toward that washing date the later you try and put curls in it the the more terrible they're gonna be like I the day that I washed this hair because it needed to be washed or the night before I washed it I tried to uh, curl it 
and while the curls they came out semi okay like and I had even curled them again in the morning like the, by the end of the day my curls were just done they were fault they had fallen my hair was practically almost straight it was starting to look frizzy but so just make sure that you pay attention to the hair and when it tells you it wants to be washed it wants to be washed y'all hear my dog I feel like y'all can't he's just going crazy um but as I've said before you know it does have versatile um parting uh but you know it's a little it's a little more um gun ho towards middle parts just because you can part it so much farther back and it look a lot more natural than the side part because like the side part where I can part it it ends well for you to be able to cover all the tracks and all that stuff it ends like right about there uh, so the wigginess factor you know like is it if you put it on and people can tell it's a wig and all that stuff you know how does it how does it factor with being um, natural and I say that this wig is like it's a one so it's so good so I do tack this wig down ignore this part because you know it's at the end of the day so I don't care that my got to be glue is like going is um, going up but as you can see like it looks it looks fine it looks like my scalp some parts of it are coming up just because it's time for me to take this thing off but you know it looks fine it looks like my scalp like in that part as long as you blend the part like I had obviously as I stated before in the beginning of the video you know when I was just doing so much with this hair yet um, I did have to fix the part with some concealer well not concealer but powder and makeup but I still think it turned out excellent and turned out beautifully and I just think that this it, it is a really natural looking wig so basically coming down to would I recommend it or would I not recommend it and I would completely recommend this wig not only is it it's human hair versatile parting uh, it holds heat well it is a very it's a very strong and durable wig especially after all I have put this wig through very strong and very durable it will definitely last you like it lasts about a week a week and a half without having to wash it and it still looks as just as amazing quality as it did and I can't say enough about this hair like get it go out there and get it I will have a link down below to the store and the hair specifically but I love this hair like I absolutely love this hair all right guys and that is the end of this video I hope you guys have enjoyed it definitely a lot more we have corner videos coming and you know I just hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like share comment and especially hit that subscribe button and remember when we comment we want to bring people up and not bring people down bye